Hey friends and welcome back to another video from Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials. In the last video we have discussed about the living organisms and non-living organisms as well as a feature that is growth. So growth is not a characteristic feature of living organisms because non-living organisms do show growth with the accumulation of matter or accretion that we have already talked about. But the internal growth or intussusception can be taken as a feature because it is only shown by the living organism. Today's feature is reproduction. So the first question that should arise in our mind that whether reproduction is a characteristic feature or not. Hoga ya nahi hoga? Ye toh hum baad mein baat karenge. Pehle discussion karte hain reproduction ke baare mein. So we all know very well about the reproduction. Re means again and production means to produce. It means that when a particular organism of a species used to produce the organism of its own species again for its next generation, it is known as the reproduction process. Okay, and it is a biological process. So reproduction कुछ ऐसा होता है कि जैसे एक particular organism है, for example, there is a horse and it is giving rise to another horse. Okay, with the help of process known as reproduction. तो उसे हम पूरा process बोलेंगे reproduction का, right? So ये क्या होता है? It is producing some sort of progeny or the next generation which can be more or less similar to the parents. Why more or less similar? It means that if the parent is reproducing with the help of a sexual reproduction, in a sexual reproduction, only one parent is involved. There is no fusion of gametes, so the progeny is going to be the exact copy of parent bilkul same honge for example you can observe a mango tree okay if there is a mango tree and you will break a mango from it and if you want to uh, germinate that particular seed it will give rise to another mango tree which is exactly similar to its parent it is similar morphologically as well as genetically uska genetic material bhi same hoga because there is no fusion of gametes it is arising from the same parent so genetic material will be same but मॉर्फोलॉजिकली भी वो सेम होंगे आप दो आम के पेड़ देख लीजिए आपको पता नहीं लगेगा कि मतलब कि कौन सा कौन सा बिकॉज बोथ हैव सेम काइंड ऑफ लीव्स बोथ हैव सेम काइंड ऑफ ब्रांचेस सेम काइंड ऑफ अपियरेंस इट मींस दैट द ऑर्गेनिज्म और द प्रोजेनी इज गोइंग टू बी मॉर्फोलॉजिकली राइट एंड जेनेटिकली सेम सच काइंड ऑफ Progeny arise from asexual reproduction is known as clone. Clone मतलब बिल्कुल सेम. But in case of asexual reproduction, there is haploid gamete known as sperm. There is haploid gamete known as ovum. Both of them will fuse to form a diploid zygote. Okay, and that zygote has the characters of both of the parents. Right? Let's talk about humans. We have 46 chromosomes. 23 will be coming from this. 23 will be coming of this. So there will be crossing over and there are different kind of phenomena which will create variation. So I am not alike my father. And my father was not exactly similar to my grandfather. Because some sort of variations are there. Therefore it is called as more or less similar. Sometimes it is not exactly the same copy. Right? This way it happens in reproduction. Now we talk about some important examples which are given in NCRT. For example there is fungi. So how does fungi reproduce? There are millions of asexual spores. Okay, there are millions of asexual spores which are released by the fungi. They will germinate and they will produce the whole fungus. After that, there are yeast and hydra. So you must have heard about a thing called budding. Budding in yeast. So for example, this is an yeast. Okay. After some time, there will be very small outgrowth like this. Okay, then it will become much more longer. And after a few time, it will become another yeast. So there is a small projection which is coming outside from the main plant body or from the main organism's body, and it will become large. After becoming ample large, जब बहुत बड़ी हो जाएगी main organism जितनी, it will get detached, okay? And detached होने के बाद it can live individually. 
right this is the process of budding same case is in hydra in hydra the structure is like this okay so here some sort of bud may appear that bud may grow and after ample growth it will got detached from this particular point there will be two hydras now right so in yeast and hydra there is important sort of reproduction called as budding in planaria or in flat worm there is a very important phenomena you will learn about planaria in case of animal kingdom platyhelminthes because it is a flat worm so platyhelminthes mein hum log padhenge it shows true regeneration okay true regeneration what do you mean by regeneration for example this is a planaria aisa hota planaria ko dikhne mein okay let me break this planaria into two or three pieces i have break it down now this particular fragment will also generate a planaria this particular fragment will also generate a planaria right so isko main pieces mein todunga each piece will give rise to the planaria itself it means that all the parts are now regenerated and this process is known as regeneration right is tarike se hoti hai planaria mein regeneration bahut hi zyada interesting topic hai आप लोग पढ़ेंगे बहुत मजा आएगा इन केस ऑफ एनिमल किंगडम या फिर जब भी आपको रिप्रोडक्शन uh, प्रोसेस होगा ट्वेल्थ क्लास में उसमें पढ़ने में बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है स्टार्टिंग के दो चैप्टर्स प्लांट्स वाले काफी मजा आने वाला है देन फ्रेगमेंटेशन एफ नोटेड डाउन राइट फ्रेगमेंटेशन एफ सो इट इज शोन बाय पंजाय फिलामेंटस एलगी ओके सो एफ अगेन फिलामेंटस एलगी and a very important example the most important example of fragmentation is protonema of moses you will learn about moses in case of plants jab aap bryophyte wagera padhenge so bryophyte teredophyte ke case mein aap kya aayenge liverworts and mosses right so wahan par aapko inke bare mein detail mein padhne ka mauka milega yahan pe sirf aapko naam yaad karna hai okay So the fragmentation is shown by fungi f for fragmentation f for fungi f for fragmentation f for filamentous algae and protonema of mosses these are the examples of fragmentation then amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organisms and we used to tell that amoeba is immortal kabhi marta hi nahi hai kyon nahi marta kyunki before its death it used to give rise to two amoebae okay this is an amoeba which is unicellular so in last lecture we have talked about the inclusive events that growth cell division and reproduction are same in case of unicellular organisms so it will reproduce to form two amoeba now this amoeba is getting converted into two amoeba so these are daughters father kahan gaya kisi ko pata hi nahi hai kyunki it has destroyed its identity but it is not died practically okay It has gave rise to two daughter cells. अब ये क्या हो गया Two daughter cells में तब्दील हो गया वो daughter cells फिर दोबारा दो दो daughter cells में होगी So parents की practical death possible नहीं है That's why a unicellular organisms like amoeba are immortal, right? Because there is no identity. अब ये बचा ही नहीं है parent. If this is a parent, okay? If this is a parent, it got converted into two. So जो बड़ा वाला parent था वो कहाँ गया Obviously, this is a very good question. So there is no practical identity. हवा को मारे जाओ कोई दिक्कत नहीं है So उसको हम मार नहीं सकते That's why it is immortal, right? Now the reproduction is also not a characteristic feature. Now you must be thinking कि यार reproduction तो नहीं कर सकते non living organisms और आप वो जगह ठीक भी हो right? Last में हमने कहा था that accumulation of matter can cause growth in non living organisms. That's fine. But accumulation of matter cannot you know make non living things to reproduce so why it is not a characteristic feature because there are some living organisms which does not reproduce for example the worker bees the mules the sterile couples sterile couples which cannot produce a baby and there are different reasons for that in the 12th class third chapter you will read about human reproduction there are different kind of techniques okay to produce a baby for sterile human beings so there are some human beings which have some sort of disorders due to which they cannot produce their own baby and that's fine it's okay so 
that I human beings overall reproduce नहीं कर सकते right? Mules cannot reproduce and worker bees cannot reproduce, but they are living. So हम ये नहीं कह सकते कि हर living में ये होगा because there are some sort of exceptions. And due to these exceptions, reproduction is also not a characteristic feature of living organisms. Okay? In the further classes, we will be talking about metabolism, consciousness. cellular organization and some other important events or some important features and we will try to find out whether it is a characteristic feature or not okay, right after that we will be talking about the binomial nomenclature and some sort of taxonomical hierarchy the process of taxonomy and taxonomical aids after which this chapter is going to be completed and i am going in a very good way you can look at it jo ek ek point hai ncert ka wo bahut acche se elaborate bhi kiya ja raha hai aur samjhaya bhi ja raha hai तो so, अगर आपको पसंद आई ये वीडियो देन डू हिट लाइक बटन एंड यू कैन वॉच माई वीडियो फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम एंड यू फाउंड इट बेनिफिशियल एंड प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड टेल देम टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू थैंक यू सो मच स्टेट यून एंड बेस्ट ऑफ